and then you want to transfer this to an indirect version. being able to center. use the mask here and then be able to know because you're gonna have a very um, small vision right that, 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 that area that you see and if you're not used to that and you do it on your interview you will fail They're gonna give you a head. Head. With the cheeks. cheeks. Is that you actually wanna be able to go ahead and prep a tooth on the table, right? Yeah. So so you try to work on prepping the tooth on the table so you could go ahead and get an idea as to how to do a a prep just like this. Most of the time you wanna go ahead and, and, and practice first on the table. And and the way that you wanna do this and you're doing this at home. You know, you want to try to simulate everything that you're going to have during your bench prep. Bench exam. So what they're going to do is they're going to have you wear a mask for sure. Right. Then you also, they also want you to have a, a, a loop. Uh, it's not mandatory, but I think it's better to have. Yeah, because you want to, you want to get, you want to get comfortable in doing all this, right? So, but in the beginning. You want to just go learn how to cut. So, okay, so if you want to learn how to cut, you don't need anything but you be able to have a handpiece, no gloves, and then be able to see if you have glasses. So you can get a regular glasses, like um, this, like regular glasses. So that you will need that. And if you're trying to figure out, how am I going to be able to do this at home? Being able to do it like this, have a handpiece, keep it simple, numbers 56 burr, and then you could do it with, without gloves first, but you want to make sure that you get used to having gloves on because it's different, right? So now, I'm going to put some gloves on. Hopefully you get to the point where you are using gloves. And, and this is gonna be comfortable for most people. You wanna be able to use gloves. You also wanna be able to use a mask. So you've got a mask. You got this. Take this out. And then you wanna make sure that you're used to doing this. On the table. With a handpiece and then being able to cut, right? And then you want to transfer this to an indirect vision. being the able to center. use the mask here and then be able to know because you're going to have a very um, small vision, right? That, 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 that area that you see and if you're not used to that and you do it on your interview, you will fail. So, so you're trying to do this and trying to, trying to practice this. So now you're not even practicing cutting. You're just practicing how to see. Now you're going to have to be able to use a mirror and be able to see the mirror and be able to cut like this without a light. Yeah. So you have to have a light source like that, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can have a light source like what we have in the dental office. So are you thinking uh, they're not going to give you a light source, you're saying? Because if you're doing this at home, you don't have this light source. You have just a bench with a light. So now what you have to try to figure out is how am I going to go ahead and do this and be able to maneuver. If you, you have to be able to practice this because if they have this and, if, and you're in a operatory, mm -hmm. they have this light, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so... And this is the way we practice dentistry anyway. So you go here. You have to be able to bounce the light off of this mirror, right? And then be able to see. 